Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna review my portable dryer. And I'm super excited about this video because I've been getting a lot of questions uh, under uh, my washer review. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link it down below in the description box. I love my washer. Um, as much that I decided to get a portable dryer because after using my washer for a few months I was like you know it would be nice to have a dryer I've been using a drying rack from Ikea for like $15 and it's been working fine but I've been really frustrated with uh, all the lint that is on the clothing and it, it's super wrinkly and it's not soft at all. Like the clothing is super hard because I have hard water. Um, so, you know, I've been missing, you know, having a dryer. And I was like, I don't know, it's $300. I don't know if it's gonna dry fast enough. You know, it's portable, so it's smaller. It's probably gonna be, you know, shitty. Um, but then, I, you know, I started researching and I started like reading uh, reviews and, you know, really looking for like the best uh, dryer. Uh, that I can find, you know, portable dryer uh, that I can plug in into a regular outlet and keep it in my bedroom, you know, or closet, whatever. Um, you know, I have pretty small apartment, so I need something small, compact, and, uh, you know, good looking because I like nice looking things and, you know, it's pretty important to me that that uh, dryer would not only work well, uh, but it also would be, you know, kind of presentable because I keep it in my bedroom. So if it's an eyesore, it's gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> so I found this dryer, which is not only like good looking, it's modern, it's it's brand new. Um, and it, it works amazingly. Like, I'm so impressed how quickly my laundry dries in this dryer. Like, I didn't expect it because, you know, obviously if you have smaller dryer, it's gonna take more time to dry it. But this dryer is super powerful and also super quiet, which was a nice surprise. I love this dryer. It's uh, a dryer that I bought on Amazon. Uh, I will try to look um, in other places. So, you, you know, I'm gonna link different links uh, below. It's actually very hard to get. I see that a lot of people uh, are looking for this dryer and uh, it, it's a pretty hot product to be honest. It was very hard to get my hands on it because it was always sold out. And when it finally um, came back in stock, I was just like, bang, <laughs> and I got it. Um, so I will try to look for this dryer in different places and just link um, all I can find in the description box. Uh, but yeah, it's been a bliss to have this dryer. Uh, now, all of my clothes, all of my laundry, like towels, uh, sheets are super soft, uh, not wrinkly anymore. I also had this problem because I even got a steamer to get uh, wrinkles out of my shirts and uh, sweaters and, you know, all the clothes. And unfortunately, the steamer didn't work as well as the dryer. I don't know what it is, but when I put stuff in the dryer, they come out uh, perfectly, like, like brand new. Like, they look like they were actually, like, ironed and, you know, uh, it just, it, I don't know how to describe this feeling, but it just, it's, it's so worth it. It's not only, like, you know, it cuts out um, the time of drying, obviously, but um, I really love that I can just put stuff, you know, um, like my pants, black pants, or like black uh, jacket to the dryer, and it will get rid of all the um, my dog's hair or uh, lint or you know all the stuff. It just you know it will come out perfectly uh, clean and lint-free and wrinkle-free. It's 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 really great. It's okay, so I just did uh, one load of laundry in my portable. Uh, washing machine and this is how much clothes it fits here in this um, portable <laughs> dryer so I actually have a lot space as you can see um, but that's good because uh, you know you need a lot of space it's gonna dry uh, quicker uh, but 
yeah i put one dryer sheets uh it's by mayors by the way i love this smell it's basil uh actually i'm gonna show you looks like that so um yeah uh i have a um, pair of uh, jeans pants other stuff like sweater uh, t-shirts um underwear and uh, we'll see how long it's gonna take to dry a little bit uh, i think i'm gonna set it up um for let's see uh, maybe like 60 80 minutes um I don't even know how much it weighs but it, it doesn't feel like it's that much so maybe like six pounds so yeah 60 minutes on high heat though I think I'm gonna use low heat so uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna set it up on the uh, for 80 minutes and I'm gonna check um, how it's doing the sweater probably will be done a lot faster so yeah let's close this up already connected uh this dryer to uh power and as you can see over there um there is this exhaust pipe pipe yeah i guess that's what you call it okay so let's start it 80 minutes this is how loud it is it's not that bad to be honest okay it's been around 20 minutes so i'm gonna check how is my laundry doing Let's see, I was uh, using low heat uh, and it was, as you can see, I set it up on 80, now it's around 60, so. Um, you know what, this is kind of still, I mean it's better, it's not so wet as before, but still definitely not uh, fully dry. So, uh, let's see the sweater, huh, the sweater is almost dry. So I might take it out. Um, yeah, it's it's getting drier, that's for sure. So I think I'm just gonna um, keep drying it. I mean, it is on low. It's um, the air coming out of the uh, uh, this um, exhaust pipe is warm, but not. Uh, like super warm or hot it's it's just it's warm you know so it's it's definitely um what they <laughs> say it's definitely not high heat um it's not super warm so i'm just gonna keep drying it for now so there is around 30 minutes left let's see Ooh. okay oh the sweater is practically dry so i'm just gonna Take this out. Underwear dry. This is dry. Mm, this is practically dry too. Yeah. It's a little moist, but it's dry. So I guess I'm just gonna take it out. My pants still feel kinda damp. So I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, underwear dry. My t shirt, this one. This one's dry. Uh, okay, so let's see, t-shirt, another t-shirt, mm, I think I'm gonna leave it, and underwear I'm gonna take, this is my blouse dry, so I'm gonna leave uh, my uh, jeans and uh, t-shirt, that's all. I'm gonna leave it here and um, I'm gonna dry for another, I guess, we'll see how long because I need to put some, uh, another lo load of laundry here, so um, yeah, we'll see, but for now, uh, this is this is not bad. What is this? Get away, fly. Um, so I set it up on 80 minutes, uh, 30 minutes left, so 50 minutes, not bad on low for such a small portable dryer. I basically got um, almost my whole load of laundry dried in 50 minutes. Not bad. It looks really nice. I just put uh, one set of queen sheets to this <laughs> dryer and we will see how long it's gonna take to dry this whole thing here. 
actually a lot of space here as you can see this uh, barely fit in my washer but in the dryer I can fit even a few more things but it won't do it I already put um, dryer sheets in I don't think I need more and now I'm gonna set it up uh, high heat and let's see uh, for now I'm gonna do like 80 minutes and I will be back in like 20 minutes to check on sheets okay so it's been a little over 20 minutes as you can see let's check uh, okay so I see that this it always happens with any dryer that um, get as you can see everything get, gets tangled in a big uh, sheet so I'll have to uh, fix it up um, what about this that still needs drying it's it's drier uh, but definitely like another uh, let's say at least 30 40 minutes so uh, I'm gonna fix this and start the dryer again so this is how much time is left now and we'll see if my laundry is done oh, I hate this as you can see it rolled again I think I'll have to like bigger sheets I'll just have to uh, dry separately because it's like so annoying of course so the outside is dry but the inside where it was rolled is still wet uh, actually pillows are dry so that's nice yeah but super annoying if you have any tips like how to dry sheets and because this was inside this also feels kind of damp so if you have any sheets how to dry like if you have any sheets if you have any tips how to dry uh, sheets so you'll stop them from rolling uh, that would be very useful but because they rolled they're still kind of wet so I'm just gonna put this one sheet for now and then I'm gonna dry the rest later we'll see if it's gonna work okay so my sheets are finally dry but it took me over an hour to dry them um, so I would say that it's uh, it, it takes a little longer than a regular you know commercial uh, dryer and, and laundromat but taking into consideration that this uh, dryer is a lot smaller and it's a lot cheaper um, then it, it's not so bad so I'm pretty happy if you have a small apartment and if you don't have laundry inside your unit I highly recommend to invest in a washer and dryer it's so worth it like I already got my money back for the washer I did so much laundry that I got all of my money back um, so and also I saved a lot of time because I can just do laundry when I'm home when I'm doing something else like cleaning or working like you know it's something I do in the background so it's super amazing to have these uh, portable washer and dryer inside my unit and yeah if you have any questions let me know uh, I try to respond to all the comments I get um, and yeah I will see you soon in the next video bye bye